Hey guys, how's it going? This is my second video on my ATC toy hauler. This is a 2021 28 foot front bedroom. And I'm gonna show replacing some wheel studs on this trailer. I found some damaged studs when I removed the wheels uh, a while back. I had spray foam installed under this trailer after I bought it. And some of the studs were damaged from the factory and whoever installed the wheels on this trailer initially just ran the nuts down and it galled the threads of the nuts and the studs together. So I had to do a field repair with some re-threading taps and dies to get the trailer back home and I'm going to replace those damaged studs now. In the process of doing this repair, I also discovered that these studs are technically too short for these aluminum wheels on Dexter's website, who is the manufacturer of these axles, they recommended three threads visible beyond the end of the lug nut. And from the factory with these acorn style closed in nuts, you can't tell where they are, but I installed an open end nut just to see where it lands. And I'll show you a picture of it, but the nut is flush with the end of the stud. So definitely not any extra threads visible it's full thread engagement of the nut, but there's definitely no extra for safety. I did a previous video on this trailer with a review of owning it so far, and I covered a bunch of repairs I had to do right after I bought it before I could use it. So if you're interested, you can go back and check out that first video and see everything I've done so far. Also, I wanna say thank you to everyone who watched the previous video and liked it and all the comments. I really appreciated that and getting all the feedback. So if you could like this video and subscribe, I think it would really help with the YouTube analytics to get this video recommended to more people and make more people aware of what's going on with how these trailers are manufactured and i think ultimately this will help us as customers in the end to have a better product available to us with better quality and the design aspects that we really want and need so thank you again Here's one of the damaged studs. They all have a spot on one side where the threads are kind of smeared. This one was more damaged on the end also. I feel like this was probably when the axle was assembled. So for me, it's just easier and faster to knock these studs out, put new ones in versus taking the trailer to the dealer and having to go back and pick it up another day. It's all super annoying. This is just the lesser of the two.
six new studs. New lug nuts too. This might be kind of hard to see on camera, but every one of these studs, it's like they pressed them into the hub crooked. They're all damaged on the same side. All the threads are just flattened out. So to me, this looks like Dexter Axle damaged these studs when they installed them in the hub. This one's the worst on this Hub. That one's not real good either. But regardless of who's to blame, somebody should have noticed that when they're putting wheels on. So a few of these aren't as bad. They are all damaged on one side, but the issue I see is if you have to put your spare wheel on, if you have a flat, it's a steel wheel versus your aluminum wheel. So it's a lot thinner. The lug nut is gonna run down on the stud farther and you're going to get into threads that are damaged a lot worse the farther you thread it down. So I didn't want to have to deal with this issue ever again, so I'm just replacing them all. And if I ever have to put a spare tire on, it won't be a problem.
just like new except better got six new studs installed I did not remove the seal it looked basically like new like it should just cleaned it up put some fresh grease on it everything on the axle looks good brakes are like new That's how they're supposed to thread on. Dexter Axle recommended torquing these lug nuts in three different stages, starting at 25 foot-pounds, second stage would be 60 foot-pounds, and final torque is 120 foot-pounds. And I can put up a screenshot of that graph that I found. problem with it is I feel like I work on it more than I use it so far so it kind of takes the fun out of making the payment every